Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Paradox mini campaign with Northern Line and Mathis. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hello. So I bet uh, no one else was expecting that sunset invasion, right? <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> this episode because now the Aztec Empire is focused on Mauritania. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to take them apart from the inside out, but I don't. I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Uh, okay. Yeah. You, you've got your your work cut out for you for sure. I've only got to take one more county, and then I. Uh, can actually form Britannia, which I'm going to rename because Britannia is a stupid empire name. No offense. Oh, God. My heir is celibate. That sounds like good. He's got more time to focus on, uh, you know, administration. <laughs> the things that matter. Exactly. No, no I need heirs. I need... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Why? How do you get the freaking Pope to grant you a claim on land? They never want to grant me a claim. That's one of those features where you pretty much have to land a cardinal and then get him to become the pope. Ah, uh, lame. Right. Or if he's like a family member, if you get your dynasty as the pope, then you'll mm. get the, the free claims. I tried to send him a gift and he's like, yeah, you know, it would be awesome. Like, I appreciate your generosity. Do you have 2,800 gold pieces <laughs> that you can send me? Uh, yeah. That's one of those things. Like in EU4, I like how you can control the size of the do of the gift yeah. and get variable opinion based on how much. But I just took a loan out. <laughs> I've been using uh, like the gift giving system in EU4. Whenever like improve relations is is done because it's reached a, a, its cap, then I'll just be like, well, I'm 25 points away from getting them to accept vassalization. I'll send them like 250 gold, and they're like, yeah, I'll be your vassal. You, you fools! <laughs> you just sold your country away. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Am I allied with this guy? I don't think so. So the Aztec Empire already has five thousand six hundred and fifty gold. Wow. I don't know how he did it. Well, I, I can tell you where he probably took it from. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> How's my? Oh, I gotta check my relationship with the Aztecs. Uh, yeah, it might be a good place to put your chancellor. I just realized. No. Um. Yeah. He, he he's positive sixty three opinion of me. That's pretty good, man. It's not bad how did, at all. How'd you do that? Um, let's see. I sent him a gift. You sent the Aztec guy a gift? <laughs> How much yeah. did it cost you? Not no much. Wonder. It cost me 1,076 gold. Wow. Are you kidding me? It didn't cost me that much at all. Barely. You, I think it costed me under 100. You must have done it before he actually got all of this territory. Yeah, yeah. it probably did. Um, let's see. So I gave him a gift. Um, my state diplomacy with him gave me a boost. We're both just, and my <laughs> prestige gives me a plus eight. Yeah, <laughs> the Aztec emperor is super just. Yeah, just like... Go across the Atlantic. I have a blood claim on these lands. <laughs> says who? Well, says my gods. Exactly. He's cruel and paranoid, though, so I don't know <laughs> if we're going to be in for just behavior for long. Yeah. I feel you on that one. All right. Uh, on the bright side, I'm basically 100% guaranteed to form Great Britain here. That's good. As long as I can just take this territory before Scotland surrenders its war, or Scotland wins its war. I what do you really think the odds are of Scotland accepting vassalization, though? Zero. Yeah. But I'm a king! Yeah, it's essentially, it's one of those things, I, I always end up complaining about nitpicky type interface things, but the plus-minus system is mm. so stupid. It, it, <laughs> I'm a king <laughs> is essentially like negative a thousand minuses, but it, yeah. They give you that hope, like, oh, maybe if I bribe him enough, he'll say yes. No, <laughs> he will never say yes. He's always, yeah, it, it's, it only pisses me off the most when it's petty kings. Right. They're, they're technically dukes, so they're, they're at the ducal level, but they're like, I'm not going to surrender. I'm the just ruler of this land. I'm like, man, I'm going to slaughter, like, your whole <laughs> dynasty. Right. My yeah. wife is pregnant again. I have a new wife. I murdered my old wife. Would you want to come sleep for the sleep with my wife? I, I'm fine with you <laughs> bastarding a child with my wife as long as it comes out with my last name. Gotcha. Mm. I mean, I don't care. I've obviously slept around quite often, so. Yeah, no kidding. You have like 12 sons now. I know. <laughs> um, no, I married the princess of the Byzantine Empire. Oh, this guy. I'm hoping I might get a weak claim or something through that or something. Like my child might and I can press it. Yeah, just go inherit the Byzantine Empire, Matt. This whatever. That's what I want. <laughs> it's small. It's barely an empire. <laughs> Actually, it is. I forgot that we were in 1337. Yeah, it's fucking tiny. It, it is pretty not great. While that's yeah, happening, so. I'm trying to somehow form claims on Portugal and uh, Aragon. Now, 
My heir is the son of the princess of Portugal. Does that mean he's going to get a weak claim on the on the throne? Heir is the son of the princess. You said your heir is the what? The, my heir is the son of me and the princess of Portugal. Will he inherit a weak claim on Portugal because of that? Your wife. <laughs> my wife was was. She's dead now. Okay, which dead wife are we talking about? Princess Maria? Of Portugal. She'd be, she'd be the only dead wife I have. Maria Afonses? Yeah. Will I inherit a claim on Portugal? Or my son inherit a claim on Portugal? No. No? No, because she predeceased them. Oh. Um, she'll get a claim on Portugal. She would have gained a claim on Portugal if her father died while she was living, but... Ah, whoops. That's my fault. Yeah. Oh, and it's it's on the orders of you, I see. So yeah, yeah, I killed her <laughs> off. Because I, I, need, I needed to go to war with them eventually, I thought, so... Yeah, you should have um, you should have killed the king of Portugal and then your wife and then and well, he's a kin he's a kinslayer too. Time to I'm not a kinslayer. I don't think I got caught. No, Portugal king of Portugal is a kinslayer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna so, go ahead and start trying to murder the king, the emperor of the Byzantine Empire. Then what are you? Well, we've got a common enemy. Yeah, focus on the Aztecs. They <laughs> like me. They're my friends. Plus sixty three is not gonna save you, I think. <laughs> no, and he doesn't even like me. He's negative eleven. Thinks I'm an infidel. I could have sent him one of my bastard children to educate. I forgot that like, you guys have like a great deal more knowledge than me when it comes to Crusader Kings too. I mean, obviously that was always in the back of my mind, but as Aruma was explaining like the order in which you should have killed people mm -hmm. in order to <laughs> make sure that your claim survived, I was like, oh right, I know nothing. <laughs> Uh, good times. Uh, I, I guess I should go help him out in this. Well, I, I don't want to. I hope he just ends this war soon. I cannot create the Empire of Britannia. Because I need... Oh, uh, I need one more county again. God damn it. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to fabricate claims. I Well, there's like a civil war going on, so I shouldn't even need to... I might need to, like, form a duchy or something. <laughs> There's 24,000 Aztecs just wandering through my land. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone little, just gonna come on through here? A little intimidating. Nah. No, I mean, they can't declare war when they're in your land, so don't worry about it. Yeah, they have well, levies raised, man. He's already my liege, but I'm just worried. Well, they're events spawn oh, right. troops, so that doesn't matter that they have levies raised, but... Correct, yeah. Where but fortunately, is... he's assaulting, so that number's dwindling. That's good. Where is uh, Mauritania, anyway? Is that is that a kingdom, like a Dejure kingdom? Uh, oh, it is. Press, okay, like Morocco. Yeah. Press O, and then you can look at the kingdoms. Oh, my heir loves me by 100. I had an event that made sure he loves me. He's my friend. My son is my friend. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah. You got to teach him some boundaries, though. Mm. You got you to gotta be the I mean, your father figure here. You got to teach him rules and regulations. That's true. It's true. It's amazing how different the prestige system is in this than it is in EU4. Like, in this one, it's like, it'll cost you 100 prestige. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Something costs you 100 prestige in EU4, like, you're screwed, basically. Right, well, prestige is, like, right. I want to say almost meaningless in, in CK2. Yeah, yeah, it's like a score thing, and I guess it gives you an opinion bonus or something. Yeah, the first 2,000 prestige are quite important, but after that, it's completely useless. There's, mm. uh, It's one of the things that most mods change. They make it so that... You like, like to become exalted among men. You just need a thousand prestige. That's nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, like exalted among men should be ten thousand or five thousand. That would definitely guarantee you getting your name in the history books. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So how's uh how's Brittany or not Brittany? Sorry. Yeah, you're, you tell I'm me Brittany. how Brittany is. <laughs> how's England doing? It's it's going fine. Like I I miss estimated I had underestimated the number of uh, counties that I would need to form Britannia so now I'm one county shy which throws like a big monkey wrench into the whole thing and now I got like a small peasant revolt and I gotta deal with it but you know I, it's pretty messed up I'm pretty sure Scotland is gonna lose the civil war that they're fighting right now and that's gonna be really awesome for me because then they're oh, gonna be fractured shit mad what happened to the wretched King Alfonso X, the low character subject of Greek plays. I am at war with the Aztecs. <laughs> Aztec invasion of Navarra, though. <sighs> Fuck. Is that what it is? Navarra is just that, like, three-county duchy that you only own two of. Ah, uh, time to yeah. call in allies. Uh, That's true. <laughs> That's true. All, All right. he wants is uh, Navarra. 
Can so I call you into war, Ryan? Uh, no. Are you allies? We're not That's allies. one of those things. You can't just say, oh, hey, I want to be your ally. You got to marry. Yeah. You can call in the Basilius. Oh, holy of the shit. I can't fight this. Nah, I would force them to assault the holdings and then just let them have it, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things like if, if probably over the next 30 years, if they assault down their event spawn troops, they'll become a manageable enemy. Yeah. But in, until they get rid of those free men, then. So I should just surrender? Not yet. Like, wait for them to get to 100%. What would he get? Kingdom of Navarra. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was um, looking at the Duchy of Navarra. Is the kingdom the same size? Yeah, it's a very small kingdom. Yeah, it is. I'm just running with my men right now. He had like 175,000, if I remember correctly. Now he's down to 134. Eh, that's good. He's, he's, they've taken away like one Hungary, roughly. Mm -hmm. Like the best thing that could happen to us would be a host invasion of the Aztec Empire mm -hmm. or um, that carrion for the vultures event because that's based on your troop count. <laughs> so okay. it'd be like, <laughs> oh, all of a sudden there's 60,000 random peasants. Mm -hmm. That he'd have to fight. Uh, my son became chased. Oh my god. What's wrong? What are you guys educating your children with? Well, let's oh, see if I can I maybe play a boat bomb game on them a little bit. I, I don't actually have any children. Um, well, I mean, I have one, but he's celibate. He's given up on... <laughs> he's dead when... to me. I don't understand. It's like the worst thing you could possibly do. <laughs> if I take their capital, does that really do anything? Let's stop. Are you actually... <laughs> Isn't their capital across the Atlantic? No, it's right here. Where? No, oh, the capital's in Mauritania. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't even look down there. He's gonna, he's gonna assault me down though. It's a good. I have thing. a seven seven percent chance of success if I try to assassinate him. Seven percent. I don't know. Let me check what my percent chance would be. If you give him, if you all give it a try, I'll give it a try. I too. don't have enough money. Okay. It's like four hundred fifty gold a pop. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. I have a I have a eighteen percent chance. But That's I actually kind pretty good. I kind of don't want to do it because I'm pretty sure that I will end up being chain assassinated if uh, if it happens like that. Did you um did you put your spy master there? Uh no, not yet. So it'll go up to like 30. Probably 30. Or yeah. 30, 35. Yeah, be pretty good. Uh, that is pretty good, but I'd have to do it like all at once. You'd have to basically pause the game and then I'd spam it. All right, um, let me see. Oh, the problem is he's leading troops, so it makes it kind of hard to track him down. I'm going into his capital. I'm just going to assault the shit out of his capital. Nice. County of... There should be, like, a way to attack event spawn troops, like night strikes or something. Right? That would be cool. He's spreading out his troops really thinly. I might be able to boat bomb his troops a little bit. Yeah, just careful, though. They only have half morale at sea. It's true. If I can hit... Well, if I hit low numbers... If I take yeah, like... his capital, does that fucking really even do anything? No. But if yeah. you went to Astreus de Oviedo, you might be able to take that 10 stack. How many troops do you have? 15,000. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not very good. You, it's bad. You need more than that. I'm taking out a uh, seven stack on him right now. I just encountered him and cut him off before he crossed. Oh, my God. You assholes. Oh. Just let me take one more county off you. You see, this is where we need, like, coalitions in CK2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get the Holy Roman Empire and France involved and be like, hey, those Aztec guys are bad. <laughs> Let's, let's kill them. I'm just Damn gonna it. chase him down. Oh, why won't you come to my territory? Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just wait for Scotland to win. To oh, we're lose. only playing on speed two, and I think we tried doing three last time. You want to bump it up? Sure. <laughs> let's see how it goes. I, the only reason I, I was questioning that is because I just did find a, a seam through which to declare war, but that's okay. And what, what's your um, what's your game plan after you become Great Britain? Uh, force Scotland to vassalize or take them over using de jure claims, and then after that, I don't know. Um, right. I guess I'll, I'll probably start trying to help out what's going on there in the Aztec Empire situation. I I might be one of the strongest military powers in Western Europe. My son was sacrificed. What do you mean you sacrificed him? Is that no, an they Aztec event? No, sacrificed him. What? <laughs> <laughs> they can, do they capture him? And yeah, they battle? captured him. And they they just sacrificed my one of my courtiers as well. Oh my god. And my other son, they just sacrificed. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I I mean I accept. <laughs> <Right. man. laughs> 
What a humiliating defeat. Oh, they, they actually took more than just uh, just the du jour territory. They took parts of um, Leon. How can yeah. they do that? It's the invasion CB. So they take um, the du jour territory that they're declared upon and then whatever else they're occupying. Oh, man. It's, it's, actually, it's actually the exact same CB as the one that Mathis got. That's like divine justice right there. <laughs> <laughs> when you played as the Magyars. Yeah. It's okay, Mathis. It's okay. We can still do this. Well, I'm at peace with them now for X amount of time, so... Exactly. You got five years. In hindsight, probably would have been a good idea to just surrender. That that was my bad, so... <laughs> you know, I'll take that one on the chin, but... All right, well... Fuck. Now you just have to take over Portugal in the next five years so that you get that land? land back. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Where's my capital now? It's all the way over here. Okay. Uh, all right, let's take a look at my vassals real quick. I still have my heir, at least. My heir never got captured and killed. <laughs> I love that they sacrificed your entire <laughs> bloodline. Yep, That's they just ripped them apart. And so barbaric. Them. Oh, my How God, many? my name? My my title is Huekel Pixqui, John the <laughs> Third. That's like the, <laughs> the, the proper name for a... a <laughs> This native thing, that's weird. You can find me at youtube.com slash Pixie John the third. You motherfucker. Uh, how many troops do you have now? Well, he's down to 111,000. I took out about 10,000 of his men in that war. That's pretty good. If we can just, you know, survive long enough for him to get down to like 30,000, we could take him out. <sighs> that was rough. You get right. five, yeah, you get five years off, so you should be fine. I mean, it might be something where we actually do have to just all swear fealty to this empire just so that we can <laughs> take it apart. No, normally, by 1300, we'd be like this sprawling empire that could handle the Aztecs, but starting this late is really tough. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. I'm, I'm trying to think of my options. Like, if I go in, if I, if I swear fealty, I become, oh. do I stay a king? Yep. He's an empire. So you can be a, a vassal. I actually king don't have the swear fealty option under him for some reason. This you might jerk. you might not be able to do it as a king. I'm not sure. How did you stay? How did you become independent after I won that war for your territory? Was he landed? He, uh, he was. He was my vassal. I thought. But now that's mm -hmm. all he holds. Well, as I'll find another claimant. She. My who did no. you just? Who was it that you put in charge? I can't remember now. This is an <laughs> old bald Scottish man. This what, this happens what? to me from time to time when I declare war in CK two. You don't you don't know what the claim I, I was. Fin I finish a war and then it's just like, ugh. I have a somebody built a retinue for me. That was really nice. Because <laughs> I always forget. Now they're doing the Aztec invasion of Aragon. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Aztecs are going to be so big soon. Mathis, we'll just have you boot up as the Holy Roman Empire. Right? When you switch to E4. <laughs> That's messed ah, up. Shit. Portugal's going to be next. Nah, dude. You take over Portugal. Then the Aztec right Empire now. takes over you. I can mm -hmm. declare war on Portugal for one petty little county right now, and that's it. See, see, part of the problem we have is that there are no claimants to the Aztec Empire at all. So there's not going to be a single faction war. They're, everyone's going to be happy because they were all granted territory. Yeah. So in, until this man dies, <laughs> we, we will not have... It's, it's like, picture the Byzantine Empire except with no claimants, and everyone has plus 60 opinion with the Byzantine Emperor because they were all just freshly granted land. Yeah. That's pretty and, good. Well, the more he takes over, the more people who are going to be willing to jump into an assassination plot with uh, us. Keep that in mind. Assuming that he doesn't replace them. Like, True. look in the uh, look in Leon, that land that he took from you. Notice how there's there's a dude with a bird hat on. Like, it's a, <laughs> that's an Aztec character. Yeah. Well, all the Aztecs look like Muslims on my screen. Dude oh, with you, a bird you... hat on. I see you guys don't have the... Uh, the oh, Aztec. Aztec faces, yeah. Yeah, I have all the face packs and everything. So yeah, they've got like a they look like a bird. Like did you ever see Stargate SG one? No. You didn't? I did okay, not well, see it's, Stargate it's, SG one, but it's like the serpent hats that they come in that are made out of metal except it's a bird. Okay. I just, can see just, that. Just yeah. trust me. Just I'll trust Google me. it after this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
So I think we're going to have to assassinate him. Is my point. We need All to right. generate. We need to generate claims. If we don't get claims going, then. Dude, okay, let me, as soon as I form Britannia, I will sacrifice my player's life. Okay. By right, assassination well, bombing. Well, that's, uh, that's going to do it for this video, though, so um, <laughs> we'll see if we can actually figure out how to deal with the Aztec Empire next time. It will video. be done. We'll find a way. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again tomorrow, and uh, as always, make sure to watch it from the other perspectives, and make sure to like the video. It helps us out a lot. We'll see you again soon. Later. Bye.